he had a radio, and on his radio, uh, there was a there were two incidents that were happening at the same time. One was what they call a bailout, and that's where a vehicle of of undocumented immigrants um, is fleeing, uh, uh, racing away from the border patrol, and the and the the vehicle stops, and everyone gets out. They bail out and they run away, and the border patrol chases them. And it's very exciting for them. They like to do that. And the other call that came on the radio was groups of families coming across the river. And he said, and the, the agent said to me, wow, there's a bailout. We should go photograph that. That's really going to be exciting. And I said, uh, let's go see the families. And so he took me and we went over and groups of people were coming across the river, uh, families, uh, women and children uh, in rafts. They came up uh, the embankment of the river, which forms the border between the United States and Mexico. And the, uh, the agent um, approached them. They wanted to turn themselves into him for asylum. And, uh, and I photographed while that process took place. The, there were other children there. There were, there were other parents, there were other children, not just this little girl. And I photographed uh, different groups. And I talked to the mother of, uh, of this little girl whose name is Yanela. She was almost two at the time. I spoke to the mom, she's uh, from Honduras. And she told me a very little about her story, that she had come up from uh, Honduras uh, over the course of a month. And, um, and I took a few pictures. I didn't think much of it because they were just pictures of people standing around. And so at the very end of that long day that I was with the Border Patrol, this, this was actually the second to last frame. I took hundreds of pictures that day. Um, and right at the very end, uh, this mother was one of the last people that they loaded into the vehicle. And when she set her child down, um, the little girl had a had broken to tears. It was obviously a, a brief moment of separation anxiety. And so you can imagine that of the thousands of children and parents who were separated, what they were feeling when that happened to other many other families. I found out a week later that this family had not been separated and I was very relieved because I had no idea. And I think in this in this era, of political polarization, it's really important for us as, as journalists, as photo, photojournalists, to be really accurate with the information that we write with our pictures. So in my caption I wrote, they were taken to a processing center for possible separation, which was exactly the truth. If I had said that they were taken and were separated, my career would have been finished. Right? So we have to, in some ways, it's very difficult to work in this environment, but in other ways, it makes us more accurate and it makes us really pay attention to detail. And if we don't know the details, then we should not include that de those details. If we don't know something, we shouldn't write it. Uh, sometimes I keep my captions vague and sometimes I keep them very specific. And in this case, uh, fortunately, uh, what I wrote was accurate. And although the photograph was very polarizing in the US, um, it also started a movement against the, um, the Trump administration's family separation policy. And if, uh, if this picture had anything to do with that, I can't say that it caused the president to change his policy. I don't know that. But if it had something to do with that, then I'm fine with that too. I don't have a problem with that. So we have the whole rest of the exhibit to look at, so we'll keep walking.